Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so hot, it's 27 degrees today and we have been to the Commonwealth Games road race because it's local to us. So we've spent six hours now chasing the riders around the track um, to see if we can get some really good photographs. So we're home now and we're gonna do a bright or barbecue if you're British as I am. And tonight, um, in my Hello Fresh, I have got smoky sausage and pepper skewers. But I'm gonna do on the barbecue. So although the recipe says do it on the, in the oven, you can easily transfer this to a barbecue. I'm gonna show you how. And again, it's a really quick and simple recipe, so I can't wait. Here we go. Right, so I've emptied the bag out and I've got the ingredients, which are here. And as you notice, there's no coleslaw mix in there. So they've obviously missed that out of ours. So I'm gonna to have to um, email them tomorrow and just wonder where our coleslaw mix was for this. Um, so I'm gonna to have to make a salad up now to make up the sort of the vegetable side of it because it's not gonna be enough. And I don't want just meat, I do want a bit of salad. And I was really looking forward to a really nice crunchy coleslaw, but hey ho, it's not there. So we'll make do what we've got. So I need to now start making this and the first thing I'll do is my potato wedges and then I'll make it on my skewers. So the first thing I need to do is chop my potatoes into wedges. Sorry that my husband's closing the gates in the garden to give the dogs a bit of a, a cool down. Like I said, it's been 27 degrees today and um, they're very, very hairy, so I appreciate a bit of a cool down. Right, so that's my potatoes there. I'm just going to get a little plastic container and I'm just going to pop those in there. And then I'm going to sprinkle them with half of the paprika. So my paprika is there. It's smoked paprika. I have got this in my um, spice drawer. I do use this quite a lot. I do love it. So let me just kind of overuse it because I need it for something else later. So just give that a bit of a shake. And then I'm going to season it with some pepper. And then I'm going to pop this, because this is going on the barbecue, I'm going to pop it on a silver foil tray and I'm going to cook it on there rather than in, in an oven. Now I keep these um, whenever I buy anything that's got foil on it already, they're just great. You just wash them through and you can reuse them and they're perfect for the barbecue. I am going to pop a bit of oil in here because with the heat of the barbecue they will stick. It's not like they're non-stick so I'm just going to give that a bit of a... I do can't use my fingers, it's easier. Just get it all over. Okay, and I'm just gonna pop my potatoes in there. Like that, get all my paprika out. Don't waste it. Just make sure everything's all nicely coated. Perfect, and then that's ready for my husband when he gets to that point. Just gonna wash my hand, and then we can start doing the skewers. All right, first thing you need to do is soak your skewers in water. So that's just there, sitting to one side while I prepare the veg. And what I'm gonna do is get my bell pepper and I'm just going to cut it into nice chunks. Right, I've now chopped up my um, sausages and they are lovely whole grey mustard sausages, which is perfect. So I'm gonna pop them into this pot here, which I did use the um, paprika in, but I don't think it's gonna make a ma ma massive difference. I can't get my words out because I'm going to want to um, get all the flavours I can and then I've got all my barbecue sauces here and I'm just going to pour that over perfect and I'm going to get my hands in here just to make sure that everything is coated with a barbecue sauce Perfect, nicely coated. Right, and then I'm gonna take my skewers, and I've got four skewers which have been soaking in water. 
and then I'm just going to do a pepper, sausage, pepper, oops, if I can get through, pepper, sausage, pepper, sausage, pepper, sausage. There we go, that's the first one. So there we go, two, three, four skewers ready for my husband when he gets ready for the fire. So that's all nicely done. I would now be making my coleslaw up and to do that I would have been roasting a garlic, but as I don't have that anymore, that is everything ready for dinner tonight. So what will happen is I'll cook the um, potatoes first. Once they start to get to last bit of cooking, put some grated cheese and the um, spring onion on top of it. Obviously these will go on and these need to go on for about 20, 25 minutes on a hot fire for us. We've got a thermostat on our fire so that'll be perfect. And I'm really looking forward to this, but now I need to go and get some salad made to go with what's missing from my um, coleslaw. Really disappointing, but you know what? I'm not gonna keep harping on about it. It is what it is. What I have realized is I didn't add the paprika into the barbecue sauce. Um, so that's me saying I've used the same container. Um, I should have used the same container because it makes a difference. So what I'm gonna quickly do is pop it over. So what happens when you don't read things properly, isn't it? I'm just gonna sprinkle some over here just to make sure I coat. Let me just move that one up there. There we go, just cut that a little bit. And I have got some more barbecue sauce for my husband to add on as a marinade as we cook. So I will mix that into a little pot with the barbecue sauce and that'll add more flavors as well. So perfect. So here's my little bowl. I'm just gonna add this barbecue sauce. And then I'm just going to tip in the paprika and then just give that a little bit of a mix and we can add that onto the uh, kebabs as they cook on the braai. It did say use it as a dipping sauce but for us when you cook it on the braai or the barbecue it sometimes is better just to have an extra bit of sauce that you can just add on and I'll get a little teaspoon and hope we can just add that on as it cooks. Just gives it more flavour. It's got quite exciting when you go to your fridge and you realise you have got some ingredients to make your own slaw up. Um, I've got some red cabbage here and white cabbage and I've got some onions as well. So I'm going to make my own up just because, like I said, I was a bit disappointed that we weren't going to have some slaw ourselves. So I'm just going to chop this up finely. And they did give me the mayonnaise for the slaw. Obviously this is my own ingredients. I think that's probably the root there, perfect. So I just pop that into there. So I've got red cabbage there, I've got some white cabbage. Let me just peel that as well. Just wanna get rid of the core, you don't need the core in there. Can make it even tougher to eat. So I pop those into there. Perfect. Just break that off a little bit. And then I'm just going to get um, a nice bit of onion to go into there. Probably get a red onion, I think. I've got white and red, but I'm going to pop some red in just to add it some extra flavour to that. Some red onion going in. And then it does say to add some roasted garlic which I haven't roasted yet um, I will do that in a second but I'm just going to pop all that into there that's perfect and then I'm just going to leave that now um, for a bit and then what I'll do is when I've roasted the garlic off and all I'm going to do is take get rid, I shall get rid of that because that's a bit of a root all I'm going to do is um, take a couple of garlic cloves and pop them in the oven because I've got the oven on because I'm making some sausage rolls uh, for lunch in the week 
and snacks and then once that's cooled down I will then put it into this to give it a really garlicky flavour and they say they gave me the mayonnaise so we'll add the mayonnaise in even though I'd normally go light mayonnaise I will use it for this one okay so saving graces we do have our col coleslaw but it's not their coleslaw it's mine but as I was looking forward to this all week oh I feel better now perfect right so I've got my garlic which I've just baked I'm just going to push it out lots of skin and just pop it in to my coleslaw mix just to add a bit of garlic flavour there we go that's all in there it's not a lot in two cloves actually I think I might have done a lot more but I am following the recipe I'm just going to mix that in and then all I'm going to do now is add in their mayonnaise and then I have my sort of coleslaw although I don't know what was in their coleslaw mix that's probably the, the difference And I'm just going to give that a quick mix. And I'm using a knife, which just saves me washing something else up. Take that bit of skin out from the red onion. It's escaped into there. Perfect. Okay, so there's my coleslaw mix to make up for the one that they did provide. Everything else is currently on the barbecue. I'll show it you in a minute. Right, while I'm waiting for everything to cook on the barbecue, I'm going to get their cheese that they gave me. So there's a little block of cheese here. I'm just going to grate it because that needs to go onto my potato just before the end. So I'm going to use a small grate just because it will melt quicker. And obviously I've got my chopped um, spring onion as well to go on it. So let's find it eating in the background. Perfect, so I'll just pop that to one side to go on to the potatoes. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is put my spring onion now so I can mix it all together. Just saves one pot, doesn't it? And I can start cleaning my station down. Right, okay, let's get cooking. Time to add the cheese and the spring onion to the potatoes, and that will melt nicely onto them. Perfect. And you can see that the kebabs are doing amazingly as well. We've used the extra barbecue to actually marinate it while it's cooking, so it's going to be absolutely delightful. Right. There we go. So I'm going to check in. We also put some uh, pork ribs and some chicken drumsticks on as well to go with this. So, but this looks lovely. Um, I'm just disappointed with the um, coleslaw. I went on the app and it's very easy to complain that you haven't had a certain ingredient. So I'm quite pleased, pleased even with that. But um, it's just a shame it wasn't there and um, couldn't get the full experience. But it's still lovely. delicious i feel really full now i really do and we did have some pork ribs like i said um with it we didn't have the um chicken drumsticks we're gonna have those tomorrow for lunch um but i think house was amazing hubby said the um coleslaw was probably too oniony but that was my own coleslaw not hello fresh because they obviously didn't put it in for us but um everything else was amazing so i hope you like that guys i hope it gave you some inspiration if you did don't forget to yeah subscribe notifications give me a thumbs up and i'll see you next time and just goes to show if recipe says do it in the oven do it outdoors if the sun is shining and it was today right I'll see you later bye bye